Um, and so we got this picture in. What is going on with my lilac? Is it just going dormant? Uh, yeah, that's what lilacs do. They are deciduous shrubs. You don't see too many of them in the out part, outer parts of Sacramento because they are slightly acidic loving. So remember, add soil, sulfur, fall and spring. But the key here is don't prune it when it's dormant. You want to prune it directly after it's done flowering because if you prune it now, you run the risk of removing next year's flowers. So people with lilacs, if you prune in the fall or winter and you wonder why you don't have flowers, that's the reason. They really don't need much pruning. What you want to do is keep a good balance of uh, older branches versus newer ones. What I would do with that, however, is remove that mulch and bark right up against the tree trunk. Remember, any woody shrubs, you never want mulch right up against it because that can lead to rot. And fungus. Great idea to have mulch around plants. Just keep it away from woody trunks. So that you really don't need to prune that. If you want to remove maybe a few of the closer branches together, go ahead. But um, really, they don't need that much pruning every few years just to thin out the old. And remember, don't prune it this time of year um, all the way down because you won't have flowers next year. And I know this isn't a true plant, but how do I get rid of this moss from my lawn? I've tried different types of fertilizer. Um, okay, I'm assuming the fertilizer you used was to sort of green up your grass and to get it to overtake the moss or maybe even to burn out the moss. When I say burn, you know, fertilizers are salts and they could burn. Um, generally, when you see moss, it means the area is too wet. Almost all moss thrive in very wet areas. So I'm wondering if the soil isn't draining well or if you're watering too much and that's why moss grows. So try aerating. Aerating is when you pull those plugs up from the soil to allow better drainage. Um, I would also just stop any watering. Obviously, we're not getting rains right now, so now would be a good time to try to just kill that moss off by uh, drying it out. Or you could lay a really, really heavy compost on top in hope of smothering it, try to do it in between the grasses. But I have a feeling you probably have pretty compact soils. It's just holding on to that moisture and you shouldn't really be running your sprinklers only more than a tad bit right, right now, especially if you're trying to dry out the soil. And she does plant of the day. You can find her on Instagram, Marlene the Plant Lady. Yes. She started off the morning with 4,286. She's at 4,417. Mm -hmm. I would like I, to see you at 4,500. Yeah, by the I next really two will say that I do appreciate all the followers. I do answer all the questions when I, mean, I try to do it in a timely. I'm I. I, I really do like people following me. Yeah, and because all you're going to get on my Instagram is jokes about my dating life, and on Tina's Instagram, pictures of the cookies. Well, she sometimes last you're night. really wearing pretty scantily clad.